Hi, and welcome to Study Topics. This week, we will be reviewing key safety fails in a total hip replacement OSCE station. To do this, I'll be giving you a practice station, and it's a 10-minute station. Here's the question. Mobilize your patient to the door and back to bed. Post-op day one total hip replacement. <clears throat> now, what I want you to do is I want you to list how many safety precautions or issues you can think of in the station. You will have two minutes in the real exam to prepare for this question, but I'm going to give you around 10 or 15 seconds, but feel free to pause the screen if you need more time. Okay. How many safety precautions could you think of? Were you thinking two, maybe four, six, ooh, maybe eight? Ah, well, let's go through it. Now, I want to note, this is a review of our webinar that we had called Three Stations, Three Safety Fails. I won't be going into detail about each of these, so you're going to have to do your own research to figure out what is required to fulfill or to make sure you don't um, you know, miss any of these safety precautions. If you are registered in either of our practical courses, you will find this in your online course under webinars. So you'll be able to watch the full webinar and get answers to everything that we're going to go over here. But for those of you who are not in the course, what I want you to do is just take these points and try to expand on them. So the first precaution is asking your screening questions. So in this station, screening questions would be something like, is this your first time moving? Have you had surgery or before surgery? Were you using walking aids? And are you experiencing any pain or dizziness? <clears throat> it's key that you ask these questions because they're going to lead you to make sure that the patient doesn't have any issues and is safe to mobilize. Next, you're going to explain your hip precautions. And as I said, I'm not going to go into these, but I hope all of you know your three hip precautions. Next, you would want to check the wound. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky one for a lot of students. They don't know what this entails, and especially on the exam, what's within your scope and what's not within your scope. Again, something we cover in the full video in your online classroom. Next, you're going to do your DVT check. Now, remember the five steps for the PT exam preps check their DVT check, right? So you're going to ask if they're having any pain. You want to expose the area, look at both legs, look for redness or swelling, palpate for heat, and then do the Homan's test, which is passively dorsiflexing the ankle and asking if they have pain in their calf. Now, I know there is some debate out there of the validity of the Homan's test, but for the exam, we still want you to do it along with the four other steps. So that creates your five-step DVT check. Next, you want to test key muscle strengths. And this is really important, okay? There's some tricky ones within this. Think, do you want your patient marching as they're sitting on the bed? That might break a hip precaution. So what would you do instead? All right. The sixth one is we want you to mobilize in proper footwear. Now, what is considered proper footwear? What isn't considered proper footwear? Are socks considered footwear? Things to think about. Seven, use a transfer belt. Simple, simple. If there is a transfer belt in the room, use it. If there is not, state that you would use one if there was one present. And last, so yes, there are eight safety precautions. Set up a chair. And remember, when you're setting up a chair, we have to be careful. We don't want to break one of the hip precautions. So something we always encourage students to do is put a pillow on the chair so they're a little higher and they won't break the precaution. So if you guessed it, eight safety precautions in that station. Quite a few, hey? Well, thanks so much for joining me today. And if you do have questions, definitely reach out to us at info at ptexamprep.ca. And again, if you want to view the full recording where we go over three stations in detail, log on to your online classroom and you can view the webinar. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.